All right, you guys, it's the show, 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 it's the show. It's the asshole cooking show, it's the show. Welcome to the show. Today we're going to make big uh, ribs. I'm just showing you the selections of sauces that I have here, but we are going to use the Sweet Baby Ray's. I got some stuff like this that I think that I'm going to do this, uh, this is a soy sauce product that I just saw out of curiosity and got it, but I think I'm going to do that for, do a chicken and rice dish with that. It would be more appropriate and, and, uh, mix with some veggies. That's going to be a future thing, but we're going to do these ribs and I got my ingredients here, but, um, we're going to get started here, um, in just a second, uh, Oh yeah, and we're gonna do a slow cook this time. I did this uh, like my, maybe two weeks ago. This is gonna be way different than my first rib episode here, of which I'm gonna do a new one. And by the way, happy Fourth of July, folks! This is gonna be a Fourth of July cooking special. And unlike the ribs, I cooked way in. I think that was the, was my very first episode was ribs, and this is gonna be a rib redemption here. I'm gonna cook it at like half or less the heat. I think I'm gonna. I did it just like two weeks or so ago, but I didn't record it, and it worked out fantastic. So I had it last time about 200 degrees, and I cooked it for like, say, two and a half, almost three hours, but I'm going to go a little slower. But I have to approximate this, like I said, too, because I clean the stove so much you can't see the numbers. I have to turn it all the way up and then go, say, if I want half the heat, turn it like that down or whatever. That's the challenge with me here, so, and this stove, and this is a smaller stove, unlike your gas stove, apartment size stove. It's a little bit smaller inside, so your heat's going to be trapped in there different. So, um, I'm going to do a slower cook. I'm going to try to do it for about, say, maybe three hours or so. It's about 11 o'clock, and I'm going to try to get this, uh, have this cooked about two o'clock, but we're going to get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is get the blade. Serrated blade here to now open this up. The blade, boss, the blade. Uh, so we're going to cut this damn thing open here. Uh, without mutilating myself here. But um, I'm going to get right over here and just stick it right about there. Right like that. Start a hole in it and try to tear the damn thing open and get this out of here. Lock this out. There we go. Throw this packaging away. A trash bag here. All right, so we got our big old rib here. And so I'm going to get the blade, move this stuff out the way, I got this in selfie mode. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go between the ribs. You can go on this side of it and see. But first of all, I'm going to get in half, because it's easier, easier to control cut in half. And this serrated blade, I like it at, use it to let it glide, like you're sawing it up. And for safety tips there, don't you don't want to force, you need kind of knives where you have to force it. Instead of letting the blade, just like cutting wood, you let the saw blade do it for you. If you have to force it, get yourself a different kind of blade. You better question what kind of blade you're using. You know what I mean? And so it should be able to saw right in half there. Except if you hit a spot that's like um, this particular one, it's a little bit, there's like a spot right there put this down for a second then like there we go there's always that part that's a bony part you got to break a little bit knock that off and I'm gonna go ahead and just like that then what we're gonna do is just 
unlike the way I cooked the last time, we're going to take these apart like one at a time. They're a little bit slippery, you got to watch. And just, just real quick here. Just get between it. Just don't force it, just glide it until you just chops it apart here. Get in between here. I'm going to give you the basic uh, gist of it and all that, and then I'll just, I don't want to waste too much camera time on this. And this is a nice meaty end over here. That, that's the best part. It's like a dang, uh, practically like a big old, uh, not a rib at all. It's just that real meaty part that you get there. Get that off of there. Chop the shit up. Like that. And like that. Yeah. Off with the bloody pee pee. <laughs> yep, I don't want to be fantasizing too much about castrations here, but just <laughs> cut this stuff, just to cut it up. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Just do it real fast. Go. And this is like a this one, except for this one rib here. This is mostly a big slab of meat. This is a whole slab. There's okay. There's one. What? Here's a rib here. There's like a these ones you buy. They got a big slab of meat on the end. Like see that? This is a slab of all meat, not a rib. It's like practically like you're eating a steak or something. Okay. Here's one more rib right here. Take that. Chop, chop it up, chop, 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 chop. And then one, here's a rib here. I'll just leave that one in there for now. And then this one, saw it all up. I don't want to waste too much time on this making it too uh, I don't want to make it too long of a video with this part too, so I'm going to wash my hands here real quick. Pause for a second, wash my hands, and then I'm just going to do the rest of this out of camera. Get some of these off once you've gotten the cut. Just twist and comes right off. That's what I want to show you too. Go like that and just twist. Some of these ones that rather than cut yourself, once you've got that slashed up, just twist it. Off with it. And this is a piece here. These are shaped different too. You get a big old slab of meat and you don't know if it's a, a rib or what's on there. But um, like I said, I got a big old slab. This is nothing but one big old piece of meat. It's always the end of a, when you get ribs like this, you're gonna get like the end like that. Okay, this approximately right here. Just gonna chop that right there. Cut that right, cut that right about here. Like, see, right here. Like 
that. Chop that shit up. And then hit the stuff right about there. Yeah, good enough. The spot I'll just uh, put right about there. Some of these are a bit tricky, but that right about there. Yeah, good enough. So you got the basic idea to do this safely. I got them all apart. This, there's a couple different shapely ones here. Slab like that, that's all a big old piece of meat from the end. That's like a steak almost. The rest of them are kind of like this. So we got the basic idea. You got a lot of ribs here. Don't matter how you, uh, I think this is two. I should have cut this apart. This is actually two right there, but Hey, if you want to cut it, leave it in twos. It doesn't matter. And this is that one part that, along one side that it's a, kind of a bitch to cut apart. You got to watch the big bony part there, and you got to use a serrated blade and twist if you want. To. Rather than uh, risk uh, cutting yourself, uh, just you can even leave. You don't even have to cut every single little one apart. You know what I mean? Just okay. So we're going to add the spices and say the last one that I didn't record most recently. Now this is strong, sage is strong, just like a quick dash. Don't overdo it. This is going to cook all in together and all that. Just like add it like a uh, very sparingly. Because it's going to be like, then that's it. You don't know. Don't want to overdo it. But this, if you want to go, you have an onion, you know, I got a half a thing in here. Just bloop, 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 bloop. That's almost, was almost done anyway. And then this, I got like a half left. Just, I kind of uh, messed up there. Here, let me get some of that on here. I kind of missed a little bit, though. There we go. But this is all going to cook together in a really good way. And it's when it's cooked in a slow heat, it's going to get all nice and uh, cooked together. Let me wash my hands now. Pause and wash my hands and get ready for the next step. This. And I got this. Since this is going to be, um, since it's going to be cooking all like into the bottom, I'm going to take this teriyaki. I'm going to just intentionally put the whole damn thing like, I want it to sink to the bottom. So I'm going to put this around here because it's going to be cooking down like that. Because it's going to be cooking underneath and the grease is going to go in there too. And the garlic is going to, you know, make it a little thicker and all that. Then I'm going to take this. And I'm going to say, bloop, 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 There we go. And then, um, here we go. All right, so I fucked up a little bit. I put a little bit too much. I remembered last time I didn't put the entire bunch in here, but spoon. if you get 
a little bit too much. All you got to do, if worse comes to worse, because the grease is going to actually cook in there. So I took some of that out of there. See, the if worse comes to worse, you know, you just go like that and just, that's what I just did. So there, that looks a little bit better now. This, uh, I will put it to some immediate use anyway, so I'm just going to put it aside. So I'm going to get some foil and then I'm going to fix this up here. Move these. I, w I actually moved these ribs around, rolled. I should have showed you in the camera here. I actually rolled these around in it a little bit too at the same time. But uh, there you go. So we're going to cover it with some foil. And I'm going to have this like at like 200 degrees and I'm going to cook it slow. It's going to be at least two hours, maybe two and a half and three. But as soon as you start really smelling it, like I did the last time, the episode that I didn't record. Oh, it's going to be smelling good and it's going to start falling right apart. I'm telling you what. I'm just hoping it comes out the same way now when I'm recording. Now that I'm recording this, I hope it comes out the same way. Foil on. We got this... Um, Started, I put it in here, and um, I'm gonna just, I'll have immediate use for this uh, a little later in the day here. This will not go to waste. Figure I would show you that, because yeah, if you get too crazy, so the hell what, like, because there was times I had slightly bigger uh, ribs. He's come in so many different sizes. I bought a whole bunch this time, and this one, I mean, uh, was a little bit, you know, they were not too much. But um, I may have overdid it a little bit. Oh, what the hell, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I'll definitely immediate use for this later. No biggie. But um, yeah, we're going to return in about two, two and a half hours, see how it's doing and how it's smelling. And I'm going to clean this kitchen up a little bit and then stay tuned all right time to get out the old love glove open this up i took a little peek in there ahead of time see how it was going before so i like to wait for the oven to cool down a little bit so i don't have my face all hot and shit and uh burning my face while i'm uh Taking it out for safety reasons. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, look at that. This plate here. Take these out. Oh, look at that. It's like kind of coming apart. See that? that on there look at that look at that it is coming apart this is there's larger ones here oh look at that This one. Okay. Uh, dinner for two. That's the one that's uh, stuck together. That's two. Look at that. Comes right apart. That's the way it should come. Damn it. Get in there. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Another successful uh, meal here. Yeah, we're going to damn chow down. And um, 
Yeah, that's the way it should just come right apart. Look at that. So, yeah, we're going to chow down and finish watching this tennis match. And um, Yeah, that's how we do it. I cooked it about 11 o'clock, and it's like 1.30 now. So two and a half hours at about, I say, 200 degrees or so. But um, nothing right, nothing to it. I think I'm going to cook do cook a meal ahead of time and just, I got this chuck roast that I'm going to just do with that. So with this leftover sauce. So, um, all right, there you have it. Uh, end of another episode. Um, and again, happy 4th of July to you guys. And um, thank you for watching the show. The show, the show, the show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The asshole cooking show. Thank you for watching the show.